Nepal and the Himalayas. The Ministry of Agriculture imported methyl bromide, a chemical to combat nematode worms, in the soil of the Kathmandu Valley. Methyl bromide is a highly toxic fumigant for protecting crops and stored products. For a long time, it was used to fumigate grain silos and also on tobacco plantations. Methyl bromide is a colorless gas with a chloroform-like odor, non-flammable over a wide range of concentration in air, slightly soluble in water, a dangerous poison for the central nervous system, and it's one of the main ozone-depleting substances. According to the Montreal Protocol, methyl bromide was to be phased out by 2010. For over 30 years, 43 steel cylinders containing methyl bromide have been stored in two depots. Due to the poor storage conditions, they've become corroded. Two of the cylinders have rusted through completely. The highly toxic gas has dissipated in the atmosphere. As international regulations prohibit the transport of such corroded cylinders containing hazardous substances, it was decided to chemically destroy the contents on site. The magic word, hydrolysis, a process in which a chemical substance reacts with water. The GIZ commissioned a specialist firm in Germany authorized to carry out this type of work. Each individual cylinder contains approximately 90 kilograms of methyl bromide. The three millimeter thick steel cylinders are under a pressure of three bar. To prepare the cylinders for the hydrolysis process, a hole must be drilled in each one. First, they're fixed in a special frame. A collar flange is placed around the neck of the cylinder and the drill support attached to it. Scrupulous cleanliness is essential. Teflon tape ensures 100% impermeability. The drill support and a drill bit made of special metal. All the connecting hoses required for emptying the cylinders and the hydrolysis process are made of Teflon. They're pressure and chemical proof. An obligatory leak test. Precisely drilling the hole with a commercially available drill. Methyl bromide reacts with a sodium hydroxide solution to form methyl alcohol and sodium bromide. The valve to the supply line in the reaction container is opened and the cylinder is tilted into a horizontal position in order to empty it completely. Scales measure the exact amount of gas flowing out of the cylinder. The manometer shows that the cylinder is empty. All the necessary equipment has been brought to Nepal from Germany. Two large reactors are housed in a 20-foot sea container. 500 litres of sodium hydroxide are pumped into reactor number one, and only then is the methyl bromide carefully introduced. Safety first, a maxim that applies also to the technical equipment in the closed system, to all the valves and to the stainless steel reactor vessel. After two to three hours in the reactor, the methyl bromide reacts to become sodium bromide and methyl alcohol in a watery solution while releasing heat. The reaction can be observed through an inspection glass. Rust from the cylinders has left a brown deposit on the inspection glass. Through a second inspection glass on the reactor vessel housing, it's possible to watch the reaction. At the end of the reaction, the contents are pumped into the other reactor for the secondary reaction and to cool down. This takes between 30 and 60 minutes. Once all the methyl bromide has been converted into methyl alcohol and sodium bromide, these substances are pumped to an intermediate storage vessel to be neutralized with a 60% acetic acid solution. After this reaction, the end products can be safely disposed of. The neutralization process is tested with the aid of pH indicator strips. The reaction products are completely eco-friendly. Sodium bromide occurs in nature. For example, it's found in seawater. Methyl alcohol is biologically degradable. The methyl alcohol and sodium bromide mixture is forwarded to a flexible 25 cubic meter tank. From where it's transported in a tank truck to the municipal sewage treatment plant in the city of Kathmandu. 
the company can process six steel cylinders per day. A sample of the reaction product is sent to the field laboratory that was also brought in from Germany. Here, after every batch reaction, a sample is analyzed to ensure there are no methyl bromide residues. Silver nitrate is added to a nitric acid sample solution. This precipitates white silver bromide. The surplus silver nitrate is then titrated back with an ammonium thiocyanate solution. This proven method detects even the slightest trace of non-converted methyl bromide. The formation of dark red iron rhodonide is clear proof that the ozone depleting chemical methyl bromide has been safely eradicated. Before the steel cylinders can be recycled, they too must be tested to make sure they are absolutely free of methyl bromide. This is done with a Draeger gas detector pump. The final stage is to knock off the rusty useless valves to ensure that the steel cylinders can't be used again. The empty cylinders are now scrap metal, which can safely be delivered to a local steel smelter. Nepal has rid itself of the ozone killer, methyl bromide.